The world is connected economically, socially and technically. Information and communication technologies are being infused into how we and the world around us work, into systems, processes and infrastructure that enable goods and services to be developed, manufactured, exchanged and delivered. We've seen over the past few years people using ICT for health, education, for running business. 20 years after its creation, the World Wide Web offers us unprecedented access to free information. For the 1.7 billion people in the world that now have access to the web, it's, it's broken down so many barriers. The Internet's potential is open-ended in virtually every dimension I can see, subject only to the willingness of the world community to embrace it. As more and more people get connected, the International Telecommunication Union is centre stage, providing the infrastructure and standards at the heart of this technological revolution. It continues to drive innovation in terms of setting standards, in terms of managing spectrum. We are always connected today, always on the move. From television to Twitter, ICTs have reshaped our world, helping billions of people to live, work and communicate. Even the simplest $20 Nokia cell phone in Kenya can, you know, send a message to a Twitter shortcode and broadcast to the entire world. The mobile phone will increasingly take the place of the PC to access the internet, especially in the developing world. It's here too that we'll see massive strides in development through innovations like mobile banking and telemedicine. Technology really saves lives, telemedicine really saves lives, and it is high time it is expanded to other facilities too. But whilst ICTs have transformed modern lifestyles and brought about untold benefits, they've also led to new privacy and security challenges. What we're finding is that nations themselves and certainly government agencies are being targeted. It's a matter of when and not if a cyber attack will happen. Committed to connecting the world, ITU remains at the cutting edge of development creating a safer and better future for everyone. ICT gives tremendous opportunity to have access to information and knowledge, which in turn gives people the opportunity to develop their own goals. What ITU is doing, that is the single most important thing for the global community today, because they are the one who are pushing for this connecting the unconnected. ITU is the most important standard body internationally for many of the telecommunication standards. It can share best practices between the community and help us jointly uh, come up with what the right, uh, what the right standard should be in terms of protecting our infrastructure. So we can interconnect in smart city, smart power grid, smart transportation, and smart environment. The International Telecommunication Union, empowering people to meet their own aspirations by providing access to information and knowledge. <laughs>